Hello YouTubers. Well today I'm going to show two amps that I haven't seen done on uh, YouTube yet. First one is the Engel Iron Ball. I just picked this up if you live in the Columbus, Ohio area. Guitar Center is now an Engel dealer, which is really cool. So they have one of each. They have an Iron Ball, a Gigmaster, and a Powerball 2 but the Powerball 2 is way over my budget and I live in an apartment so it's not feasible to have anyways here is the Ingle Iron Ball I'll just let you see some of the if you can see some of the build quality of it it's actually a really nice well made amp I mean I gotta give it to the Germans they uh, they really know their stuff you got two channels a clean channel and a lead channel then you got to gain boost the lead channel on its own with the distortion is just over the top and then you kick in the gain boost and it's just it will just floor you it's just amazing the amount of gain this amp has so if you're a death metal heavy metal whatever type metal player then the Ingle iron ball you will be very very pleased with it it's got two EL84s and four 12AX7s, I believe, and it really pumps out some gain. The other amp is my HK 18 watt Tube Master, or Tube Meister 18, whatever you want to call it. And it's got two EL84s and two 12AX7s, but it's got two oversized transformers, and it's got two channels too. You got clean and lead, and then you have a gain boost on it, or lead boost as it calls it. And it has really good distortion too, but it's more along the distortions of a Mesa Boogie. So if you like the dual rectifier sounds, then you'll really, really like the H&K uh, 18 watt. On other thing, back over here on the uh, Iron Ball, it goes from 20 watt, 5 watts, to 1 watt, to no power for studio recording and the HK goes the same thing to 18 watts, 5 watts to 1 watts to no power. It has the direct red box out which I'll show you that in a minute and the iron ball has two outs actually. One for headphones which is an 8 by 32 ohm and then it has a balance line out whereas the H&K it just has your direct box out and headphone out but either one uh, works really good so let's go ahead and turn it over and I'll show you the back okay now you can see on the back you got the uh, MVP foot switches for your clean lead gain boost. Got an FX look. Also, the uh, iron ball has reverb in it. Got your headphone 8 to 32, your balance line output 8 ohm, and power amp out A and B 16 ohm. Now, this part's a little kind of disappointing because if you don't have an 8 ohm cabinet, which I don't, I got 16 ohm, you can run it in the A which is here for your 16 ohm but you can't have the power soak at one watt you either have to have it at full power and that's it anything else according to the manual could damage the amp and yeah now if you switch it to no power you definitely want to take the input A from the 16 ohm put it into 8 ohm or you're really going to risk damaging something on HK it doesn't seem to have that drawback um, it goes from 8 to 16 ohm to no power you got your red box out and your foot switch and then your FX loop now HK2 Meister is made in China which the build quality is really nice on it but compared to the actual German angle you can definitely see the build quality is night and day but what gets me most about this amp is it has this TSC which is tone circuitry or system whatever it corrects it but it tells it, it optimizes your tubes and it also is a protection against in case something overloads the amp that could blow it out uh, I've already had this happen 
and the system kicked in and saved the amp. You just have to power it down for a few minutes and then turn it back on and all is good, which is a really nice feature. And back over here to this one, it's uh, the reverb on it is okay. I don't really use a lot of reverb anyways, but yeah. Anyhow, they're both really nice amps. Um, I can't say I got any complaints of any. This one, the HK, it uh, lights up with its blue LED on the way they got this plexiglass cut, which is really nice. Sometimes it can be a little overpowering because um, they're pretty bright LEDs. And the Engel actually has two red LEDs in there just behind the two EL84 tubes. And it lights up red, which is really sinister looking and really cool. Um, they're really nice amps. I'd say if you got the means of getting either one, you won't be disappointed. Um, as far as studio recording, the angle sounds better in my interface that I use. I don't know why. Um, the red box sounds good too, but it's got some harmonics in it, but it could just be because of my interface. I use a Prasana uh, USB audio box, but I did have an M audio that I liked better, but it got broke, and it sounded better with the M audio than it does with the uh, Prasana uh, USB audio box that I got. So, but either way, this is my this review. No playing right at the moment. My, my mic is messed up, so I'm not able to really do anything as far as sound clips. But as soon as I'm able to replace that. Um, I'll get some sound up and you can hear the two difference all. Alright, that's my somewhat review of the Ingo Iron Ball and the H&K 18 Tube Meister.